What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're doing something you know something I haven't done in forever if you OG fans remember when I used to do Madden rebuilds back in the day long time ago long once upon a time I used to do these so today I figured we'd start with one of the worst teams in the league we're gonna be rebuilding the Detroit Lions of course if you guys enjoy this video I definitely want to see you go ahead and smash that like button of course subscribe to this channel if you have not already if you're brand new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button we greatly appreciate it other than that, let's talk about the Detroit Lions. So bear with me when it comes to me, you know, getting back into the Madden scene. Uh, so we have a lineup of obviously Jared Goff. You know, he's here for now. They traded Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff is here. Probably not the long term solution, but hey, he's here for now. DeAndre Swift is a guy I think could be a huge, like obviously really good running back for them in the future. So I like him. Of course, I do like TJ Hawkson as well. And uh, Panay Sewell, I believe his first name is Panay. I'm pr probably saying that, you know, incorrectly, but I do like him. So I feel like we, you know, have like at least three or four guys that we're going to be keeping on offense for sure um, that I can say. Um, so we'll go ahead and then just look at the defense real quick. I'm not really sure there's anybody that like stands out to me. Obviously, uh, Dr Jeffrey Okuda. Uh, actually, I don't even think this is uh, like, uh, yeah, so here we go. So Okudo uh, or uh, Jeffrey o uh, Okuda, I think is how you say it, is a, a young quarter for them. Obviously got hurt uh, before the season even started, or I think it was like really early in the season, if I remember correctly. So that sucks. But uh, for this first season, I don't think we're really going to be doing much. We might like make some trades at like the trade deadline or something to like, you know, get some young players in here. But this team's obviously going to suck. It's just, it is usually how it is. So um, this is my first time rebuilding a team in Madden for quite some time. So bear with me, but hopefully we're able to make the Lions really good today. So for my first move in my first Madden rebuild since, I don't know for how long it's been a while, but basically there's some guys here in the trade center that I really want to grab that are like young players that I think would obviously make a lot of sense for a rebuilding team like us. So I see Julian Love from the, uh, uh, New York Giants obviously this is a trade block by the way uh, so Julian Love would be like a good first start to this so um, obviously uh, we can go ahead and offer draft picks we have we're gonna have like pick number four and a also another pick from the Stafford trade so I would be comfortable like offering a third round pick I think I think I feel like that's like you know decent and they're gonna go ahead and accept that so just like that we bring in a safety so that's cool and then the other thing I want to go ahead and uh, make is uh uh, Kareem Hunt, Tony Pollard, those are cool, and that would be like interesting for future like rebuilds, but we don't really need a running back. Uh, so what I want to do is go ahead and maybe grab Auden Tate here as well, who's 24 years old. Um, our wide receivers right now are just kind of eh. And, uh, you know, we could bring in a wide receiver, like a young wide receiver that I think could be interesting here. But let's see if we can go ahead and make some kind of trade work here. So um, I noticed that the Bengals obviously are a team that are in real life for competing right now for the playoffs. So uh, we do have Trey Flowers, who's a 28-year-old veteran. So I'm not really sure if we could do like a, a swap. Um, that would be kind of cool if uh, we could maybe do that. If I can go ahead and offer him. It's not even letting me offer him for some reason. Okay. Not sure why I can't even offer him. Okay. Can I offer anyone? No. No Madden. I can't. Okay interesting well how the hell do i make a trade then I figured out what the problem was uh obviously i had too many players on my roster so i had to cut someone in order to make this trade be able to work so basically they're very invested or they're very interested in getting trey flowers who's 28 years old on a decent contract for us that's why i'm kind of interested in trading him away that way i free up the most amount of cap room as possible so we bring in a young wide receiver but i'm trying to see if i can go ahead and squeeze a pick out of them as well because that'd be kind of cool if i could uh, so round one, pick number three. Oh, I guess the big will suck too, but you know, it's not my problem. So can I like squeeze a third out of them? I doubt it. Let's see if they would accept this. Uh, no, they're not very. Okay. What if I offered you like, uh, let's say like a, a future, um, if I can, oh, uh, let me do this instead. Uh, let me go to my picks and let me see if I can offer you like a future, like let's say a 2023 round three and we get like an earlier, like maybe we do this uh, kind of boom, just like that. We're able to send it through and we get a young wide receiver to enter the lineup. And now we have a draft, another draft pick on draft night, which is going to be huge, obviously. So now when we go ahead and look at our roster, it's obviously not much of an upgrade. I mean, you know, there's a lot of players to fill out, but we do have a young wide receiver 
And I also feel pretty good, obviously, about the young safety we brought in. Our safety before was a 74 overall. So uh, young safety and Julian Love. Uh, but that's it. That's going to be it for this season or for this, uh, obviously, this trade deadline. Uh, we just brought in a couple of young guys. And of course, in the offseason, we have the draft and free agency. That's when we're really going to make our move in order to bring some guys into Detroit to help us win some games. But interestingly enough, in the NFC North, obviously, if you look at the standings, we didn't make the playoffs, which was obvious. We went 4 and 13, but the Chicago Bears of all teams ended up winning the division at 10 and 7. So that's interesting. I do want to go ahead and look at my stats. So for this season, kind of see what we're, you know, working with. So Jared Goff with 22 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. It's not going to work. Uh, he did throw for 4,000 yards, though. So that's pretty cool. But I'm sure it's because we were down in games a lot. Uh, as far as rushing is concerned, DeAndre Swift with only 800, uh, 851 yards. I hope he got some reception yards as well because definitely would love to see DeAndre Swift uh, getting a 1,000-yard uh, rusher and only four rushing touchdowns on the season. So definitely a little bit of a down year, I would say. Uh, Receiving-wise, Josh Reynolds led the way with 1,200 yards. Damn, man. Okay. Josh Reynolds, I see you. TJ Hawkson with ni uh, 900 as well. Uh, Cleve Raymond with 658. Auden Tate, we brought him in. Only 568 yards. Not sure what he had in Cincinnati. And Swift only with uh, 270 yards and zero touchdowns, which um, I feel like is kind of a disrespect because uh, Swift catches a lot of balls in real life. So not really sure what that's all about. But yeah, obviously, uh, we should probably look at the defense as well. We didn't even look at that. So if we go ahead and look at the defense, uh, as far as guys that were getting sacks, let's see. Uh, Charles Harris. Uh, and then interceptions, I guess we can go ahead and take a look at uh, our uh, Amar Amani with three and then Julian Love with two, the guy we brought in. So, all right, very cool. Uh, but obviously, we have a lot of work to do in the offseason really badly. We need a new quarterback. Jared Goff just isn't it, but he is under contract for quite some time. So we could be uh, in a little bit of a bind, but uh, hopefully with like a really good offseason, uh, maybe we can get like a quarterback that's just going to be a uh, freaking absolute boom out of the draft that would like help us immediately. Uh, but we got to go ahead and get past the, you know, playoff Super Bowl and get straight to the offseason where we got to work our magic. So the 2021 Super Bowl is going to be the Cleveland Browns and the New Orleans Saints. All right. Very interesting. Um, I really wish I could go ahead and like simulate it and then we just kind of watch it. But um, you really can't do that, Matt. And obviously I can go ahead and like see what happened. But uh, I don't, you know, other than that, I don't really know. So, okay. So just like that 2021 season recap, I guess. I haven't actually looked at this. So uh, the Saints ended up winning the Super Bowl. NFL MVP is Christian McCaffrey. Coach of the year goes to Kevin Stefanski. Uh, offensive player of the year goes to Christian McCaffrey as well. Uh, defensive player of the year is the Rams. And then offensive rookie of the year is going to go to Justin Fields. While defensive rookie of the year goes to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Micah Parsons. Interesting. So we have 23 players who want to negotiate a contract. Okay. So let's see how many of these guys I'm going to be interested in keeping around. So um let's see i see at least three so far everyone else can kind of just probably go kick rocks all right so let's go ahead and uh you know start negotiating so jack fox i mean yeah i would like to get you know keep a punter around obviously y you want to keep punters around so hopefully he's not okay so he stays good we got uh jack fox back on the team uh charles harris uh he i think what he was our uh sack leader but i'm not gonna worry about him of course we traded for Auden tate so i'm gonna go ahead and try to keep him here uh, maybe he doesn't want too much money uh i enjoyed playing for you but i think i'm gonna test free agency okay cool i will go kick rocks in okay deshaun han and tracy walker and then i think josh reynolds we gotta go ahead and give a you know offer to uh who offer you know 1200 yards and he decides to stay so Auden Tate, i don't know what your problem is but everyone else i'm not too worried about i mean that's depth and all that but we can worry about that in the offseason everyone else i'm not too uh, concerned about uh, i'm gonna go ahead and probably offer deshaun han a contract as well and uh, he is going to stay here in Detroit. So W, Tracy Walker, everyone else, I'm not too worried about. So we can go straight to the draft, I believe. Or no, this is going to be free agency. Uh, free agency is going to be important. Uh, this is not the NBA. Uh, so let's go straight to free agency. We're obviously, we got to make a huge mark in free agency because our team is just kind of not good at all. So, all right. Uh, I wish Madden showed you your lineup still. It kind of sucks. So if we go ahead and look at our lineup right now, let's just kind of see how empty it looks. So, of course, uh, probably going to be waiting until the draft. Uh, wait, where's Swift? Oh, Swift is just down bad. Okay. Jamal Williams is just a better running back, I guess. So you have Josh Reynolds, Quinn Cephas. Uh, you know, O-line could improve a little bit. Defense could improve a little bit. We got Julian Love. All these guys are just going down overall. They are just down bad. Okuda, 
Uh, so how the hell are these guys even supposed to progress if they're just pissed off? Okay. Yeah, we have a lot to address in the offseason for sure. Looks as if we have quite a bit of cap space to use this free agency. Um, so I'm kind of excited to kind of see what we can grab here. So uh, looking at the quarterback spot, I think I'm going to be addressing quarterback in uh, the draft, to be honest. I mean, we already have Jared Goff, who's under a big contract. So signing a quarterback to a big deal does not make a ton of sense for us, I wouldn't think. So we're probably not going to do that. Uh, we have Jamal Williams and DeAndre Swift. So again, probably not going to worry about the running back situation either. Um, as far as wide receiver, though, um, we could use some wide receivers. Uh, we really could. So I see Chris Godwin out here. 26 years old. Not sure why he would want to come to Detroit. Don't think that would make a ton of sense for him. Um, your depth chart, uh, not good. We don't, I mean, Josh Reynolds had a really good season, but I don't really want him to be my number one. Odell probably wouldn't come to Detroit either. Michael Gallup, though. If we could grab Michael Gallup and bring him in as a number one wide receiver, I mean, I feel like that'd be awesome. And a, a great addition to the team. Jacoby Myers, Jamison Crowder, Henry. Oh, I'm not even going to talk. I don't even know why he's still in this damn game. Uh, Demarcus Robinson, Deontay Harris, Zach Pascal, Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead. I do want to recite Auden Tate as well. I really do. I'm not sure why he didn't want to come back. But I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get Michael Gallup. I don't know Dallas would want to pay him that much money, obviously, because um he is um not their number one and they already have cd lamb and amari cooper so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and offer uh michael gallup a contract uh it looks like we're you know obviously his number one offer were his only offer so far so he has all the right in the world to either accept or decline that so boom just like that michael gallup would be a great addition so um uh, other than that Auden tate again i'll go ahead and offer a deal too if he wants to come back i'm more than happy to have him back i'm not gonna pay him that much though so let's just go ahead and go ahead and offer him because we did trade for him. So Auden Tate and then Michael Gallup are going to be the guys I offer at wide receiver. So we went ahead and made some other offers to like an offensive lineman. But I see Leighton Vander Esch here sitting at middle linebacker, 26 years old. Um, this might be a little bit of a tough bargain, but I'm going to go ahead and try to get him. So let's see how far down the board I am if I offer him that much money. And just like that, where's number one offer? Okay, so that was easy. All right. So now just kind of going to go ahead and look at the rest. I think after that, I think we're done spending. Uh, cornerback Okuda, I do like. Uh, so we have some young corners, I would say. Dante Jackson wouldn't be tough. To, uh, wouldn't be too bad of an idea to bring in, though, as well. But I don't know, man. I don't know if we should be, uh, you know, we're going to still need to free up. We definitely have made some offers in free agency. So I'm going to go ahead and offer Levi Walls a contract as well. It looks like no one else has offered him anything. So uh, just like that, I think uh, that would be like our only other offer. So. I think all you have to do after that, well, I should probably show you guys this. That way we guys can kind of be on the same page, kind of see what I've all offered so far. So my negotiations so far are Gallup, Van Der Esch, uh, Levi Wallace, Corbett, and Auden Tate. So it looks like I'm the number one offer across the board. Um, so hopefully uh, next week we uh, are when we simulate next week, we should have these guys accepting their contracts. So I believe that's what happens. You sim to next week and then uh, you get to find out if these guys accept it or not. So here we go. Moment of truth. All right. So we got contract accepted, everyone, besides Lane Van Der Esch. Man, that would have been a big, big. Okay. So we got Auden Tate back. Van Der Esch declines. Damn. That's huge. That sucks, man. That sucks. Because we need him in a linebacker in the worst way. So we brought in a corner. We did bring in Michael Gallup, though. And we also brought in a uh, nice offensive lineman. So I feel pretty good about that. Unfortunately, though, we did not get Lane Van Der Esch. We still have $33 million to use. Uh, but if we look at the lineup just a little bit more, let's see what our biggest weakness is. Obviously, we still have the draft to address stuff, but uh, quarterback is probably going to be our round one selection. Uh, Michael Gallup being brought in here is huge. Uh, we brought in a left guard now, so the offensive line looks a little bit better than it did before. So we'll maybe have a little bit of, you know, a little bit more protection. So Gallup, uh, Josh Reynolds, and Auden Tate and Quinn Seafest, I feel pretty good about the wide receiver room now. Uh, Jamal Williams Swift, I'm still comfortable with. Defense-wise, uh, middle linebacker was a huge, huge weakness, which is why uh, I was trying so badly to bring in uh, Leighton Vanderesh, but it is what it is. Um, so, and then we still definitely need to bring in uh, a defensive lineman. But again, we still have the draft. So um, we still have some free agents that we should be going after. So free safety. I mean, uh, let's just go ahead and see what's available, what's left. So uh, middle linebacker, Leighton Vanderesh would have been a huge addition. Unfortunately, again, we just weren't able to get him. So uh, strong safety, Kareem Jackson, 34 years old. I'm not going to bring in like any veteran that's like up there in age like that. So let's go back to the middle linebacker because that was a huge weakness for us. Devon J. Campbell. Uh, after it's Devondre Campbell, there's not much. So we could just bring in the veteran here. Um, but it's going to take a look. Cornerback, free safety. And then strong safety, Kareem Jackson, Ricardo Allen, LaMarcus Joyner, Adrian Phillips. 
uh, Curse, and then Tracy Walker. So we could bring in like Curse to be a strong safety. Uh, or we already have Julian Love, actually. Free safety is what I'm trying to look at. Trey Boston, Roddy McLeod, PJ Williams. Okay, yeah, not, nothing really stands out to me like that. I, I would rather just draft someone. So I think the only other thing I will do is I'm going to go ahead and offer Devondre Campbell like a very cheap deal. Um, I wouldn't mind bringing him in just to, you know, have him here as a veteran to lead this team a little bit. So I think that's going to be my last signing in free agency. Uh, man, Leighton Van Der Esch would have been like a huge, huge, uh, but he went and signed with the Kansas City Chiefs. That sucks, man. I offered him a pretty good contract, but he decided he wanted to go to Kansas City. So as long as we get uh, Devondre Campbell, a middle linebacker, I think I feel pretty good about going into the draft and just like that. Okay, so we got Devondre Campbell. I feel good about that. And just like that, now we can go into the draft. And uh, I mean, I don't think I'm going to sign anyone else. Let's just go straight to the draft and see what we can grab in the draft to upgrade this team. So now it is time for the NFL draft. We're going into this draft, obviously, with a lot of weaknesses. We're rebuilding roster, but I think we have the fourth pick in the draft. So um, we're going to go ahead and just skip to our pick. And uh, I believe we take QB here. I mean, I think that's exactly what the Lions would be doing. I know um, that I've, from what I've heard, is that the quarterbacks uh, in the upcoming draft class aren't the greatest but uh spencer rattler has been the one i've heard about the most i believe so i think that's who i'm going to be taking uh again i'm not much of a college junkie and i watch a lot of college football so i can't sit here and say oh this guy is the one they should take but i'm gonna go ahead and draft spencer La rattler here and uh it looks like that is going to be a stud finder okay we'll see i got a achievement Draft a rookie with a hidden development trait. So, okay, that's a little um, concerning, I guess. I have no idea if he's going to be good or not. Okay, let's go ahead and skip to our next user pick. As, of course, we have more to do here. Um, I kind of like, I honestly, I feel like I like the, the old system better. I feel like this new system is a little confusing for me. But, okay, uh, so I think middle linebacker is our next position. Uh, I guess we did get a veteran. Uh, defensive tackle might have been the one I should be looking at. So, uh, defensive tackle or C plus in. I guess I should probably just see what's best available on the board, shouldn't I? So um, we have Charles Cross, Zion. Okay, um, free safety. Our free safety was a little weak, so we could go ahead and grab Jordan Battle here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and draft Jordan Battle here, I guess, uh, with our free safety, our second round pick. So, okay, um, hidden development trade again. I guess it doesn't tell you till after the draft. Okay, interestingly. And then uh, we'll go. Actually, that was our... Not, oh. That was our that was our other first round pick i forgot about that we had another first in this draft okay so we walk away with free safety quarterback in the first round okay i feel pretty good about that all right now uh we can go ahead and get a little bit more aggressive we should probably still uh draft a middle linebacker i'm gonna go ahead and grab uh ventral miller here i think i am i'm gonna go ahead and draft a ventral miller here um we definitely need a middle linebacker we did sign one but i think you know grabbing ventral miller here is still pretty uh pretty awesome so we'll go ahead and grab him all right next in the draft i think we have another third round or another or this is gonna be our third round pick i believe we have two third round picks because we made that trade uh earlier in the video so obviously a lot of draft picks to get to um all right what should we be focused on now so offensive line i don't really think we should be focusing on the offense too much i uh offensive line wide receiver room isn't terrible so uh running backs obviously so i think we should just be focusing on the defense from now on so we drafted a middle linebacker um defensive tackle is probably where it should be going like inside uh you know the trenches so aj dale here feels pretty good for me i'm gonna go to draft dj dale i'm gonna go need uh over uh best available because i'm not really sure what's best available so that was our th early third pick and i believe we have one more third pick if i'm not mistaken uh from that trade that we made and no we do not so we only have uh a fifth pick in the draft our fifth round so okay um so i think then i won't be really worried about uh I'll probably make this last selection. I'll let the CPU do the rest. Okay. Um, I mean, again, I want to go defense here. Right outside linebacker is eh, uh, C. So we could go DeMar DeMarvion or we could graft another corner who's, I guess, shot up the board a little bit. And Avery Young. Um, yeah, let's draft another corner. Why not? We didn't uh, go too crazy. So we'll go ahead and draft another corner. And I think I'm going to call it good on that as far as the draft. That is going to be our draft. Hopefully it was a good one. Again, guys, also, if you're watching this and I've been doing anything wrong or you suggest anything and you know, you know, Madden a little bit better than me, feel free to comment down below. So the brand new lineup this season is going to look like this. Spencer Rattler, DeAndre Swift, Michael Gallup, and Auden Tate. We have TJ Hawkinson, Panay Sewell, Austin Corbett, Frank Ragnow, uh, Jay Jackson, and Taylor Decker. So 
That is going to be the offense. While the defense is going to look like this for season number two. Wow, it looks terrible. But uh, we have Jordan Battle, who we drafted. Uh, we have a terrible right outside linebacker, uh, Akoru, Auden Bryant, jo uh, Julian Love. And then uh, here's our corners. Akuda is down there as well. Uh, the defense definitely still needs some help. Uh, we grabbed one middle linebacker. We grabbed another one, but uh, apparently he wasn't very good in round number three. So I definitely have some work to do. Uh, we could still make a trade potentially because um, we're still in the preseason. So yeah, maybe we should upgrade like at least either the right outside linebacker or the middle linebacker because that yeah, that just looks rough. So season number two went even worse. We went two and 15. So uh, yeah, not ideal at all. Um, definitely not what you know we wanted to see. Unfortunately, that is just kind of how it went. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. So let's go ahead and just look at the stats. I saw that Spencer Rattler, 25 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. So uh, wasn't all that great. DeAndre Swift, 890 yards rushing receiving Auden Tate led the way Gallup so I mean we had some you know receivers get some work there but other than that uh not a whole lot to be speaking about we were pretty bad obviously so at this point I'm just looking to get Detroit into the playoffs because I don't know about a Super Bowl so I think this next offseason obviously is where we got to make this team just absolutely really good so we got to go straight to uh obviously our resigning players I probably won't show the draft this year just because I don't want to make this video like incredibly long but um, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and see who we should be resigning here. We have, uh, TJ Hawkinson. I definitely want to bring him back. Julian Rove. Yeah, we have some guys here. So, um, let's go ahead and offer TJ Hawkinson a contract. Obviously, uh, want TJ Hawkinson back 1000% losing him would be, uh, terrible. So we'll go ahead. Uh, we'll go ahead and draft, um, or we'll go ahead and sign Jamal Williams back. If he wants to come back, uh, play for a new team. That's fine. Yeah. I, I encourage you to do so actually. So um let's go ahead and get julian love back hopefully um i would like to play for a new team next year so okay i'll go screw myself all right and then i guess last but not least amarni uh we'll go ahead and offer him a deal hopefully uh he is fine with one to come back and yeah okay so we got you know a little bit oh he could franchise tag i'm gonna go ahead and oh how much would it oh i don't know about that actually i'm not franchise tagging a 78 overall so never mind okay that is uh, we might be losing julian love but other than that uh we secured tj hawkson at the very least so i feel good about that so unfortunately for free agency didn't have a ton of cap room but uh the only two guys we really got we were trying to get a free safety who would have been like an a2 overall but he declined uh we got julian love back which was cool and we got Kenyon drake because we lost jamal williams obviously but other than that uh defensive wise as far as free agency is concerned there's really no one to grab unfortunately there just isn't I tried to offer Zadarius Smith a contract, but he, uh, yeah, he's not having it. I was definitely lowballing the hell out of him, so I would not be able to bring him in. But um, the only other thing I could do is bring in like Nick uh, Kwiatkowski, but I don't think I have enough room for him to be honest. Uh, I'll go ahead and make it an offer, but yeah, I don't think we have cap space at all anymore at this point. So yeah, really don't have the ability to go ahead and get anybody else. So that is what our free agency was as far as the second offseason is concerned. So uh, the draft is where we make our move, I guess. So as far as the drafts went, we were able to get a right outside linebacker who ended up being a 74 overall, a left hand who ended up being a 73 overall, a middle linebacker 73 overall, and everyone else was just kind of, you know, 63, 64, 69. Nothing too crazy. So with that uh, coming out of the draft, we can go ahead and obviously look, uh, view the roster kind of to see what we're about to look like. So um, I'm not really sure. I, I, I don't want to look in that way. I want to go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and actually look at it as far as our adjust lineup is concerned, because that is where it's going to come into play. So uh, manage roster, adjust lineup. So this is what our lineup looks like. We have Spencer Rattler at QB, DeAndre Swift, Kenyon Drake, Michael Gallup, Quinn Cephas, Auden Tate, uh, Josh Reynolds still here, TJ Hawkinson. Uh, offense is still off awesome, honestly. Uh, not awesome, but it's better than the defense because the defense has been kind of... Uh, it's not all there so this is what the defense looks like jordan battle is going to get the start it looks like corners are young but they're getting the start uh Deshaun, uh our hand and then campbell and our rookies are getting the start at right outside and middle linebacker so uh hopefully you know things just end up going pretty well for us um we're gonna go ahead and simulate this third season and honestly at this point i would be fine with just being like somewhat decent i i mean if we make the playoffs that's a bonus 
Um, but I'm not really sure. It kind of depends on the development of Spencer Rattler here. So this team isn't getting any better at all. We went two and 15 again. Oh my dude. There's just no way of making this team good. I guess, uh, yeah, two and 15, not even close to being a good team at all. Um, talk about the GM as your future as a head coach. I'm literally about to get fired. Like that's literally about how, how this is about to go. Um, so I, I mean, at this point, if I get fired, I can't even freaking like play i can't even i can't okay uh let's see how this is about to go well first before i get fired before i'm not gonna be able to see this anymore uh let's go ahead and look at the stats so uh spencer rattler 22 touchdowns eight interceptions 3,800 yards yonder swift had a thousand yard season finally in this video nine touchdowns on that receiving michael gallup had a thousand yard season and then uh defensive wise devondre campbell interceptions uh let's go ahead and see free and then that was pretty much it okay uh, well, let's go ahead and look at the sacks as well. See if anybody was like uh, tearing the board on sacks. Nope, not too much. So, okay. Well, um, and then I definitely kind of, you know, before I get fired again, kind of want to see what our lineup looks like. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't been fired already. Um, like, I'm surprised Madden's allowing me to even look at my depth chart and stuff, dude. Okay. So, I mean, uh, defense wise, these guys didn't progress too much, but. Uh, I think I I think my biggest problem biggest problem was I didn't make enough of an effort to uh, upgrade the defense. So let's see how this meeting is about to go. All right, hey coach, we expect a lot more out of season. The plan is to relieve you of your do duties. Um, you know what? I'm accepting my fate. I I deserve to be fired. Okay, guys, that is going to be the first matter rebuild of not of all time for me, but. It is my is that was my first matter rebuild to be honest i need some help any advice down in the comment section below on how to or are the lions just chalked i mean like maybe i should have went and signed tom brady in free agency to like give myself a better chance but you know what that was my first matter rebuild in forever so i feel okay about it i feel like I, there was probably some things i need to learn some things i could have done differently so that's where you guys come in let me know the secrets to being a good rebuilder in madden obviously i got it down in 2k but now i need to figure out how to do it in madden so yeah i uh definitely sucked but i'm still gonna upload this regardless so i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave it a like and of course subscribe if you haven't already but for now this is crushables 2 i'm saying peace